Hi friends, now we are going to discuss about how we can create a gen generate a notification when a material master material records has been changed. So this is a little different from the notification that I have shown for a business partner, a sales order and purchase order. So here if we go to here is MM03 I am in and if I go here and I select the basic data suppose and here I go to workflow archive workflow and here I want to see what is the business object so most of the cases SAP provides a business object that has the event change so but for some reason this this business object doesn't have the, the event changed associated with it so there should be a reason so what we have to do we we will see uh, what how we can tweak it okay so I'm opening SW01 where which is the business object builder and since there is so we will see the system is pretty slow but you know everyone is working from home so we will see so in the meantime let me close some session probably that's adding up the pain okay so let's go here okay there it is here is the business object I give this num the name that I got and now here I will go to the event. So once it shows up, I'll go to the event portion. Mm. Okay, here you see it's events. And here you can see there is nothing changed. So what I have to do is I have to create one. So I cannot create a new, I, I cannot create change an existing standard business object. What I have to do is I'm going to create, okay, which will be a subtype of this standard one so here i will just select z material okay and here i'll click create subtype oops it's not defined okay so i'll just sorry i will have to do this sorry i create a subtype and now here i will populate z sd11 uh at okay and here I'll just give this one the name 13 and here I can give a description so what I'll put is material and description here material and program this one and this I'll just make it cross application okay so now I'll click the green arrow so that means this material and this business object is being created. So once this gets created, I'll create a local object. Pretty simple. Now I'll go to event and I'll just click on create. Okay. And I will just create, I give a name material. Description which is meaningful. And here select this green I click on edit object type component this is very important you have to release it okay you have to make it implemented we made it implemented now you have to generate it okay once we generate it the business object has been modeled object cannot be generated okay so I made a mistake so I'll go to change release status object type to implement it okay now I made the object type to implement it before the object type was not implemented. So it's, it's like all these first needs to be implemented. And since object type for, is the father, then it needs to be implemented. Okay. So it goes, goes down up. Okay. So it's generating. Here you can see. Once, it, once this gets generated, we have to uh, create a delegate to the standard one. So here you can see object type set status set to implement it this is very good we, we are done now what we are going to do we are going to copy this we're going to settings we go to delegate okay and here oh this has been already been delegated to another business object let's see what's the business object that has been delegated to is this is the this is one that has been dedicated so let me change it I can change it I go here let's look here 
and I'll change it to C S T eleven. What's the name? C S T eleven. See what's the name of got? So here's E S T eleven mat. Okay, there it is. We change this delegation. Okay, we saved it. Now what happens is why I change this delegation? Delegation is nothing. When I call this parent, this is the father and this is the child which we created. When we call the parent, we call actually calling the child. So then that event that we created will get called. So this is done. We are done with this part. Now we have to trigger the event. We have created the event. We have done the delegation. Now we have to create it. So now next we go is to SWEC transaction. So this is something where we will be doing change document to trigger event. So for that, before we will have to go to SC16 and there is a table PCDOB, okay, where I know for sure material master has Mara. Okay, so if I go execute Mara, okay, and these are the business objects that are there. So what I'll be doing is, let's see, I will be making first, what I'll be doing is, I'll do some research a little. I want to make sure what, so the description is, suppose I want to change this material. Oops. So I'll go to slash and mm02 and here, go to change and what I'm going to do is suppose I'll change the old material number as DG okay now what I'm going to do is here I made this change this got changed now what I'm going to do is I'll go to the change header table as C16 I want to make sure CDHDR oops sorry CDH CD D HDR and here I will put my ID which is 21 and today's date which is uh, 23rd and I think I made only one change and here you can see I made this change which is material so the object class is material so this is what I want to get the change document object so now what I'm going to do I'm going back to SWEC okay and here i will just see see here i have bus 1006 so what i can do is i'll just copy this work smartly on change and business object and we will put the event so here one thing very important if you see, see the material change is coming since we made the delegation so material change is coming. I put this, enter, I do this, and I save it. Okay. Now this is done. Now we are going to do one important thing. We are going to build a workflow. So we are going to go to PFTC and I so I'll create a new one. ZWF material suppose change. I'll click create and here I'll say notification for material change good it's showing up and then here I'll click save a number will get generated and now I'll go to the container create the business object the container element material control C Object type, we go to business object, and now we are going to put this one bus 1001006. We are not going to put our customers because we know if you call the standard, the custom will the child will get called. I'll put import export, and this is done. We'll save it, click on triggering event, pretty easy. Business object, and now I'll go, I'll put bus 1006. What is the event? The event that we got created. Material change. Now, we'll click on the binding. 
so the binding will generate automatically okay so binding generation is being done which is perfect now what I'm going to do I'll press the green arrow this is perfect now what I'll do I'll activate the linkage so yes I'm activating so now this will be green so when the event material change gets triggered this workflow will get triggered. now this workflow is getting triggered let me send a notification this would be pretty easy so now what I'm going to do is here I'll click create I'll create an email step okay send email and here uh, here I will just put a hard code okay just for the heck so for the deep dot R, or I'll just put test at abc .com, okay and uh, then we will say we'll say material it to the material uh, and here I'll give some description material this number has been changed and in next in the this is the subject this is the body and I'll put some more description has been changed by so those has been changed by the workflow initiate okay that's the person who changes it and we'll click the green arrow we'll just create cst um, 11 not material uh, now i'm going to do uh I'll click the oops here now i'll click on activate okay now this is done now let's see how it works so we go to change material again the same thing basic data and we'll make it f d f if i will go to display uh display and we'll go oops sorry come on display and we'll put basic we'll go to workflow workflow overview and here you see this got generated now let's see we'll go to sost because that's the sap gateway where the email gets sent and if i run here you see material has been changed now if i display this you get it it's pretty easy uh, you can build it anywhere, anywhere, everywhere. This is, I'm building this in S4HANA. You can build it in SAP CC also. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it because there are lots of learning to do and we are learning together. Thank you and have a good day.